Here's a diamond 1 8 inch high speed steel parting tool. This is my preferred tool for cutting grooves into the wood to size diameters. Here's a view of the cut I'd like to take, which is a nice shearing cut. You can see that the bevel is always in contact with the piece of wood, and I'm trying to maintain that tangent so that I have a constant, solid connection. Here it is again. You can see how much the back of the tool rises up as I come into this cut. It's a very different motion than this one right here, which is the direct stabbing scraping cut, which tends to introduce a lot of vibration and give a very rough result. Here's the trajectory of the two different cuts. The stabbing cut goes straight from the fulcrum of the tool rest into the center of the piece, wherein the shearing cut is going to travel along the top of the round as it spins, always taking a nice light cut. Once again, you can see how thin this tool is. That really does help to reduce the vibration. No need to remove a lot of material here. It also helps to wiggle the tool a little bit uh, back and forth, like you can see here. That helps create a wider kerf and keeps the tool from binding. Here you can see the sander grip you'd use if you're just going to go ahead and cut a groove with two hands. But when one hand has a caliper in it, you obviously have to use only one hand on the tool. Here you can see that I find it easier to choke up a bit on the tool, and that tends to reduce the leverage a little bit, but it also seems to increase the sensitivity. That helps me get nice controlled cuts as I read my way into the final diameter.